we are on an outreach, especially to the second cycle institutions, to educate them on nuclear science and technology, basically. One of our focus is to get them to appreciate what nuclear science and technology is and to equip their interest in wanting to pursue such a course. In Ghana here, one of the challenges which I think is this, this option of nuclear science and its application is not really an option during the undergraduate level. So people don't really know that there is an avenue in that field that they can actually undertake. Except you go to the universities before you get to hear of it. Until today, I didn't know much of the applications like the treatment of cancer, then the isotope hydrology. I learned a lot about the job opportunities you can get in the study of nuclear science and technology, like being an ecologist, being a lab technician, and working at the food research so that you can preserve foods. You can even be a, 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 an astrologist. We have the alpha particle, we have the beta, we have the gamma, we have the x-rays. So with the alpha particle, it is the heaviest in terms of energy, so it cannot travel far. Basically, you realize that girls, for that matter, we are afraid of the smarts and the sciences. With the girls, it has been very good for us and is going to open up avenues for us, open up their eyes and make them work on whatever they are studying. We are happy because I've always wished that such programs are brought here. I'll be very delighted when I have a degree in nuclear technology in the university and I will urge all students to take the nuclear technology as a steady course so that it will help us build our country in the use of nuclear energy. One of the main reasons of making we ladies go out to do this outreach is to encourage females to come on board, I mean to study nuclear science and technology.